Hi, Ken Muller, St. Paul, Minnesota, Accordion Heaven, Muller Music Center. One of the questions I get once in a while, and understand that all the advanced accordion players already know all this, even the intermediate levels, but is the air button on the left side of the accordion, the bass section where you put your hand through the strap, there's an air button up here. When you, when you, sometimes when you're done playing, and the accordion, the bellows are open, you never force the accordion shut without playing a note or using the air button because you'll create leaks and that's the, what, you don't want that. So what you do is you take your thumb like this and then you can open up the accordion like this and close it anytime you want. Uh, funny story is back in high school I played for theater shows like uh, Fiddler on the Roof, Man of La Mancha, all that stuff. And I'm down in the orchestra pit and it's as, we just finished a song and I'm playing my accordion part and the song's done and it's a, you could hear a pin drop on that stage. And here I am, I'm sitting there like this, my accordion's out, bellows out here and I'm doing this air thing. And I can hear the air come out and I'm thinking it's so loud that everybody in this whole place can hear that air button, but they can't, you know. But here, anyway, that's what the air button's for, is simply to open and close the bellows. Because if you force those bellows, it does, and this is true on all accordions, button accordions, piano, chromatic, all of the, and even concertinas. They all have that air button because if you force them shut without playing, all the pads and everything, they get pushed out of position and you can create leaks. And you really do want a tight accordion and, or concertina button accordion. You don't want it to leak air. You want all that air to go to, to that note that you're trying to play. So that's a very important part of the accordion. And again, you just use the thumb in order to hit it and off you go.